I appreciate you for showing up, Ronland. Like, or being here, I guess. Showing up sounds kind of aggressive. <laughs> um, but, no, it's just fun. I, I enjoy, I, I'm literally, like, I, like, I love playing Inquisition, but I, I really enjoy playing it with you guys. And just even if, you know, I'm just chatting for a while with myself. I don't know. It's just fun. I, I really like having streams or Let's Plays on in the background while I do things. So, I totally feel you. There's like there's a few people who stream and a few Let's Plays I just love to have on in the background when I'm, like, doing art or anything, you know? Mm-hmm. Have fun, Ashley. <laughs> I think you're playing, you're playing, like, as you're watching this, too, right? <laughs> So we're gonna get like multiple multiple inquisitions going on it's a pretty big file it is oh man i can't whoo you gotta you gotta take you gotta take one of your characters you finished and just go play trespasser like right now because that would actually be really awesome <laughs> if you could like give us little updates every now and then you probably kind of know what goes on but still still it'd be awesome to see what you think of it I'm gonna go... Okay, I guess we'll do finish... Should we just finish the tombs? Dispatch for you. Oh, you're gonna play it? You're gonna play it, Ashley! Nice! Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. What's my method of painting or anything? Um, I use... If you're asking me, <laughs> I, uh... I'm generally a, a pencil sketch. I, I generally just do sketches. But I like to do pen and watercolor every now and then. I actually do have a, a Mooka inspired uh, painting, a watercolor painting of my shepherd that I have on the wall. <laughs> it's not that great. The sketch is actually better. I feel the sketches are always better, but you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy what I like to do charcoal too a lot actually. Like, Cause I'm, I, I'm not the type of person that spends days on something usually. Like usually I like to sit down in 24 hours and do like crack something out you know and charcoal works really well for me for my style i just want to get i'm just like Pfft. i just do it really fast i'm like bah! and i love that charcoal like if you mess up i mean it's all so quick you just toss it out and grab the next paper and you start starting it again you know like you don't go like oh no i messed up you're like oh well Pfft. and you throw it out and then you work you start again on something else i don't know i like that Red time is ten. I'll probably be. Oh man, no, no! I know my, my friend. I actually got trespasser for my friend for her birthday, and we sat there, and it was like ten o'clock at night, and we were waiting for that thing to down, and it took hours, and I was so sad because I really wanted to watch her play it, and. And, and it took so long to download, we had to wait till like the next day to do it. I was so sad. But... Watercolor is cool, but hard to master. Yeah, it is. It, I, I definitely have zero mastery of it. My watercolor teacher was like, it was really funny because like, a couple times she'd like pull my work out of the pile and be like, and here we have an extra, we have an example of like a very advanced technique in watercolor, you know, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm looking at it like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, I was like, uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I just did what I thought you told me to do. And I usually thought that everybody else's looked better than mine. But, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what it was now. I just, I just enjoy it. It's fun to play with. I was not fond of his own visage. Oh, Emperor Florian sounds like an interesting dude. Ah, spider! Spider! Ah! Stupid spider. Excellent! I think when I, did, when I came here, like, eight, like, when I came here with my first character, this was, ah! This was actually not open? I don't know. We are our own worst critics. We totally are. You know, like, everybody's their own worst critic. I enjoyed it. 
for sure. I enjoy the class and I enjoy the medium. But I just remember being like, I don't know what you're talking about. Dang it! Okay, there we go. Come on, do it. That should have totally worked! Oh my gosh, where did you come from? You just spawned in. That was rude. I think you said you do sculpting, right, Ronland? I will never get the dust from my throat. <laughs> I've got a comment from everybody now about how they don't like being in the desert. Okay. Whoa, I heard something. Okay. Weird. Is it really scary with spiders in games? Like, if you were scared of them in real life? You know, freaking, I don't know. I'm not like absolutely terrified of spiders, but I really, they're my, one of my least favorite creatures in God's green earth. I hate the way they wiggle. And when they're giant spiders in these games, like the ones in Dragon Age 2 for some reason, they just wore on me eventually. Like, it was really interesting. Like, I don't know, I just freaking, ooh, whoa! There's a tree grow and it, oh, and it's like, open to the sky a bit. That's cool. Whoa. Sasha, you prefer to use watercolor when pa than painting? You use too much, too much water and when you paint. It turns into watercolor no matter what you do. <laughs> you use too much watercolor or too much water anyway. So you might as well. You're like, hey, why not? <laughs> That's awesome. Watercolor is fun. I enjoy it. Ooh, let's do the the flaming array. Yeah. Dorian, you're doing you're doing flaming array, okay, Dorian? Oh, oh, and uh, we we remember remember we need to do shield bash, and we need to put that one on there. Perfect. Now she's perfect. She's perfect. Um, the ones in Skyrim? You use the spider to bear mod in Skyrim? <laughs> I want to do one that's like... I want to do the, the butterflies to butterflies one. Like, that sounds awesome. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. Strife that had destroyed tiger under houses from weapons that clan used against clan. Come clan and his two sons followed burial to the pit pitiless surface. Burial Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. Shut up. The strife that destroyed Tag Center houses from weapons that clan used against clan. Oh, no, I'm busy. His own clan and his two sons followed Ferial to the pitiless surface. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. Okay, okay. It seems just kind of going a crisscrossy fashion. Let me light this. Let me. Can I have it? Can I have it? Yeah. Use the Wabba Jack. Freaking. That was an awesome staff in Skyrim. They don't move. They don't. <laughs> so they move a little weirdly. I don't, it's just the way spiders scuttle to me. I really, really hate the way they scuttle around and their legs. And it's just freaking unnatural. Even though it's not, but it is. 
I don't know. I have a, I do have a harder time with spiders. Especially, for some reason in Dragon Age 2, the spiders were extra uber creepy. Wait, was it? We did. Um, was it? This one? Yes, this one. I can handle them, but I just, I don't like them. this tree that's growing here. It's so interesting. What? We have... Oh, just all these? Okay. Such a good quest to get the Wabba Jack. It really was... It was the funniest quest in the whole game. Like... I wasn't even a mage, and I freaking loved it. I was just like, this was awesome. And it was almost better that you didn't, like, see any of it, you know? Yes! Frog Raider Ashley got Trespasser. Th we all thank you. Kudos to you. That was very nice. That was, that was very nice of you. She's going to go play it, like, right now. <laughs> like, as soon as it downloads. If it's not too late. That was really cool. Thank you, Frog Raider. I, I was saying I'm just glad that... People spread the joy that is the DLCs for games. I don't know. It's just cool. We're going to see if, if it downloads quick enough. She'll play it while we're on the stream and tell us what she thinks. <laughs> I just, I'm always curious about why there's veil fire in Dwarven Tombs. Because I thought the veil fire was like an elven magical thing. But apparently the dwarves can uh, play with it too. You can't stand the clickers. Oh, freaking. I, uh, from what I saw of the clickers, like, they're, they're horrible. Horrible, nasty. I don't like zombies in general. I mean, I do. I actually, I really, really do like zombies. Like, I've written a couple papers about, like, zombies and, like, you know, the social aspects of zombies sort of a thing and like oh my gosh what do you want get off me jumpy 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 i think that worked help dorian Everyone should have access to the end of the game. That's good. I mean, that's that's totally true. I agree. I I think it was really lame that it was put into a DLC. It's a good DLC, but the fact that it's basically the end of the game and that you have to pay like 20 bucks for it is a little ridiculous. But thank you. That was very kind. I'm glad we could share the wonders that is Trespasser DLC. You have wondered about that too. Oh, and Varric says something similar, like how did the dwarves use Veilfire type thing? Ooh, I'll have to do that. Where am I? I could... Where's the graveyard? Is the graveyard, like, maybe in here? Maybe if I... Will it tell me? Yeah. Nope, it's not gonna tell me, is it? Nope. Yeah, I forget. One hit kill. They do, like, if they hear you, and they catch you, like, you're dead. Like, there's no, like, fighting off a clicker. Yeah, only watch The Last of Us and Clicker scares you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like zombies. Like, I like to read about zombies. Like, I have, like, the zombie survival guide, and I have World War Z and stuff. But I actually see... I refuse to watch zombie movies. I... I... I don't know. I just... I don't watch... I don't watch zombie movies. I don't usually play games that have zombies in them, either. Like, they're just sort of the most horrifying thing in the human psyche. <laughs> I only 
only watched The Last of Us, like, the beginning, and I cried. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, why is this so sad? Is there anything? Is there any? I don't think I've ever seen a graveyard in the Hissing Waste. A graveyard. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this graveyard concept. Hmm. This might interest you, sir. No, it really probably won't. Okay, let's get this off my face. Because we did the canyon. The only one that I really remembered ever doing was the canyon one. Mountain fortress, statue tomb, graveyard. I'm trying to think. I mean, where? I mean, you keep graveyards usually are away from places that are close to, but usually f they're usually closer to places of habitation than they are further away you know what I mean and I would assume that it wouldn't be there okay so there's that tomb tomb ruin tomb did I go in that one I think I didn't I might have Tomb. Maybe. I mean, there might be one in here. You had to wash different dishes. Zombies make you claustrophobic. Is it Ronland? Yeah. I, I can totally see that. Trespassers almost done, Ashley? <gasps> ah! <laughs> yes, that's what you've missed, Ashley. Frog Raider has uh, summarized. <laughs> you missed us talking about zombies and me looking for things and not finding them. I'm looking for the last tomb. This was like in... Uh, no, not... I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this camp. I'm gonna check that. I actually didn't. I didn't count how many tombs I found. That would have been a good idea. You like zombies in movies? You like zombie movie games? Nope. I mean, they're cool, right? They're inter They're interesting. They can be interesting. It's a little bit worn out now. One, two, three, four. Dang it. So I have probably explored all of these. What about this ru- is that ruin? Could that possibly be a tomb? Maybe- maybe over here? Maybe? I'm missing the graveyard one. First time you ran into ghouls in Fallout 4, you freaked out. Well, there's a- uh, Apparently, it's really popular to romance the ghoul companion, and I was like, yeah, I can, I can, for some reason, I was like, yeah, out of all of them, I think he's the coolest. <laughs> I'd romance that. <laughs> um, we were just talking about how some of us get really freaked by zombie things sometimes, like. Ah, you're not a character to play! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um Okay, did you have anybody romance Sarah or Cullen? <laughs> because that might be really fun. I mean it would be really fun for sure. Of the two I think he's just Yeah. Just those two? They get an extra cool extra scene. Yeah, like, I'm more interested, like, when I talk about zombies, like, liking zombies, I like, I like sort of, like, the safe academic one, where it's, like, an academic discussion about, like, zombies being, a, you know, the, um, oh, shoot, what is the German word for it? It's the, the, un, unheimlich, the unfamiliar, the familiar made unfamiliar, basically, it's like seeing yourself, but in such a twisted, 
horrible form and they're not even truly evil they're just they're just consumption monsters basically so you could go in and like i'm not so much interested in like the corporation aspect of it where you're like you know oh we're just mass consumers of the corporate world whatever whatever it's just interesting to me for like the the fear aspect of like seeing all that is familiar and it's still in like a familiar-ish form but twisted it's like in a nightmare when your mom becomes like this evil monster but still looks like your mom you know what i mean You just super glued your fingers together and <laughs> run Oh my gosh! Ah, I've done that before! E, but you haven't finished the game? Oh, shoot. Um, I don't know, Ron. You probably know what you can use to undo super glue. Uh, I can't even remember. It's really difficult to get it off. I think maybe nail polish remover? Maybe alcohol? I think alcohol might do it. I, uh, I hot glued my fingers together once. That was... That was a horrifying experience. So, no, I like the dark, like, I did a report once on zombies. Like, I really, like, I did, like, a zombies and Edgar Allan Poe themed thing. Like, a couple, like, different, like, reports on them. And, and I loved it. It was great. I love talking about zombies. But if I actually encountered one, I'd probably just pee my pants. You know what I mean? You guys want to see a zombie go, yeah, cool, it's a zombie. Yes. Oh, so nail polish, nail bot, nail blah, nail polish remover helps. I think so. I think that's what it is. That helps. Well, that I was actually. Okay. No. Okay. Ow! Freak out! Get up! I'm just double checking. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Dang it. Oh well. Oh, I love that hissing waste music. It's great. Take the Kunarian Black Wall. Have you finished that one? You definitely have to pick a character that you have finished, like. Like, my friend Romance Solace, right? And she rushed the game. She rushed the game after a certain scene. And she didn't finish a lot of the things that she actually wanted to finish. And then she played Trespasser with that character. And she kind of regretted it. <laughs> um, so definitely pick a character that you've... You've completely finished and you're totally, like, cool with, like, the decisions that you made and everything. <laughs> that wasn't even yeah you did it, the, the way you spelled help was was pretty funny it's getting late it is getting late for you i don't know exactly what time it is but i know it's gonna be late <laughs> oh man i'm just these these were the so i did i find these i guess i, I must have like this particular area with the with the leading leading lights if you finished your canary and black wall that could be a really good one pretty blue is this a uh, friggin I haven't claimed this logging stand oh I love it when I do that I like jump into like the claiming and anim claiming animation. It's funny. Graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Where is it? Lonely light. Oh yeah, that's towards the beginning. Maybe. So does each camp kind of, or is like these camps kind of have? Can't be each camp that has a tomb. In relation to it. That one has that one. Ooh, um, ooh, 1.45 a.m. You're friggin', I can't stay up that late anymore. I don't know, I've been staying up late lately, though. I could probably do it, but it's difficult. The Iron Bull and Dorian stuff in Trespasser is pretty good. Hmm. As long as you as long as you finished what you want in that game, 
Like, you're pretty sure that you've, like, done everything that you want to do? Down in the lower left? Okay, you were saying that, but then I was like, maybe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oh, because this whole... Yeah, okay, because I was going to... That's right. I was going to explore this area down here. That's right. That's right. I got distracted. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought you didn't finish the, the Canarian Black Wall. I'm pretty sure that one, like, the... I mean, I'm just... I am strictly stock talking, like, romances, you know? But, like, the pretty sure that one's going to be pretty interesting. I Right now, I mean, I've been obsessively playing My Human Noble. And I... And she's romancing Black Wall. And I am addicted it was a very dramatic way of claiming the site, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm addicted to the black wall romance. I honestly, like, oh my god, oh my gosh! Like that scene with when you judge, when you do the judgment, and he walks up the steps like one at a time. I was like, ah! I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I love you! Like, oh man, oh man, that was just, oh, it was awesome. And like at the ball when you're like save a dance for me and he's like all he says is all of them and I was like oh, oh my gosh ah. <laughs> I just I'm like I'm like I might like this romance better yes burial grounds thank you frog raider um I was like I might like this romance better than the soulless one like huh. And then, like, freaking, like, when you go ask Black Ball for a kiss, it's very, in it's, like, pretty intense every time. He's like, hey, hey, lady. And you're like, oh, hello. <laughs> I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'm, like, super, I've actually, I actually, um, made my human noble kind of, uh, I tried to make her look like me. Um, just because I couldn't think of what else to do. And I actually had my mom come in and help me. My mom does, my mom's been doing art for a long time. And so I was like, hey, I'm like, I need your help. <laughs> like, you know, seeing if this could, uh, ooh, look at that. Um, like, to try to make, I feel like it's gonna, like, blow on top of me. If, if uh, if we can make this character kind of look like me. So we had two sets of eyes. And she does, we even got a scar that I have over my eyebrow, over, over my right eyebrow. I had this really, like, crescent moon shaped scar that was along my eyebrow. We were able to get a, kind of a matching scar go in there. Oh, thank you guys for breaking my fall. <laughs> Yay. Look, a graveyard. <laughs> I suppose so. Kind of looks like everything else we've seen. But maybe everything else we've seen has been a graveyard. Are there Venatori here? An open tomb is eroded over the centuries, carved into the stone, almost too faint to see, is a best relief of an enormous helmeted dwarf, flanked by two smaller dwarves marching out of a mountain under a beaming sun. How interesting. I do wonder if the dwarves... I mean, they seem to kind of lose their stone sense. You know, when they're on the surface, but... Oh, yay, a bottle. Uh, the graveyard. He's done. Okay, just, it, it doesn't even, like, it really doesn't matter. So as long as you've made the decisions that you want to make, and you're, like, happy with it, like, if you're, like, complete, if you're happy with the ending, go for it. Or, like, if you're happy with the way, like, you've done everything you want to do, or at least most of it, you know, it doesn't matter if you've 100% completed the game. It's basically just, like, did you do all the companion quests that you wanted to do? You know what I mean? That's that's the most important part. Because I basically... Perhaps it just needs Shh. the magical touch. I didn't actually mean to do that, so leave me alone. <laughs> well, let's see. Read. Okay, here's the reading. And work together for a time by, side by side. Each half ruled the tag. So yeah, obviously this the, somebody came up out of the out of whatever. Out of Orzammar or whatever. And created a tag here with several clans. But they aren't living anymore. 
Yes, always. Love them. Yes, Krem. Always, always save the chargers. Yes. Oh, as long as you save the chargers, you'll be fine. Oh, yay. You had to use... Ah, you had no nail stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Uh, I mean, you can kind of... Sometimes you can. You can kind of peel it back a little bit, but... Whew, hopefully you have all your skin. <laughs> yeah, you always do all the care. Yeah, you should be fine. You'll be fine. Um, not that there's ever any danger, you know? Ha ha ha. Never. Ha ha. But, <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're, as long as it's a character you like and, like, you, you're you good with it, go for it. He romanced Iron Bull. I'm pretty sure my, fr my friend enjoyed the, the Iron Bull romance the whole way through the game, and she enjoyed the trespasser, like, the trespasser final like culmination of the relationship i guess yeah glad glad you could still type <laughs> mostly intact oh my gosh Ugh, that is just yikes all right so that's probably like the first one or something close to it you yeah, you don't have any freaking they're all spread out on this one. Perhaps it just needs the magical touch, Dorian. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Well no, these are that those are daughters. Those are those are female paragons. I was gonna say, oh it's the father and the sons, but it's those are female paragons there. Interesting. Incidentally, Cassandra, I'm well aware you lied to me. Oh? I lied to you. When you said the Mage Rebellion ah, was yeah, beyond this the one. power of the Seekers to control, I've since heard your order could have prevented it, but instead led the Templars into war once it started. It is why I left the order, yes. Knee-jerk defense of your former comrades. I quite understand. Exactly, like Dorian... Dorian left to Vinter. You know, he understands. He left this whole country that he loved deeply to try to save it. And that's basically what Cassandra's done with the Seekers. Oh, gosh, you can do this! <laughs> You're attending the council! I know, this is funny having Trespasser going on, too. Oh, my gosh. Your main character completed everything in the game was a human rift mage who romanced Iron Bull and sacrificed the Chargers! <laughs> what? So you actually experienced that first hand. I remember we were talking about that, Frog Raider, that you had done that. But that was like your first, your main character. Oh my gosh. Woo! Did you miss anything cool? Where act we, uh, Frog Raider showed me where the, uh, because <laughs> I kept getting lost, uh, where the graveyard was. We're in the graveyard, we're going to get the last piece of the tomb. Um, but Ashley, you probably saw, I mean, Ashley, down, she's downloaded um, Trespasser, and now she's going to be giving us a blow-by-blow -blow account of her playing it. <laughs> you know that if you didn't save Bull's Chargers, he betrays you, but that's it. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what happens, yeah. But it's like, it's funny because people say that, but I actually read this really cool, like, post about it once. That's like, he doesn't actually betray you because he told you coming into this that, like, He's a spy who works for the Kuhn, and he looks to you when the Chargers, when it comes to the choice between the Chargers and the Kuhn, he looks to you because you are the authority figure in the situation. He's always looked to an authority figure in his life, even though he's kind of grown away from that. In this moment of, like, extreme emotional, like, intensity, he looks to you as the sort of authority figure, and if you tell him that the Kuhn is more important, that you're, but basically it's like you're saying the alliance with the Kuhn is more important, but basically what he hears is that the Kuhn is more important, it just reaffirms that side of him, that the Kuhn is more important than anything else, and he just, he just goes with that. At that point, he, I mean, he's told you the whole time, he's basically, he's spying on you for the Kunari. And basically he just completely fulfills that role if you have validated the Kuhn for him, and basically said that it's the driving force in his life and it's the most important thing, then he takes that to heart. So, it's, the, whoever wrote the post said it much more eloquently than I can, but I, it really hit me that he doesn't actually betray you. He just 
does what he said he was going to do from the beginning, basically. <laughs> Your game crashed? Oh, I didn't notice that, Ashley. Whoa! Yeah, you're going to need to restart. By the way, I really love Cassandra's armor. You can't really see it right now. But... It's like, I, I, I got it this way. It's got the, the Dawnstone, I think. And, uh... It's very pretty. She just looks good. And I like the little, like, flowy parts. I don't know. Like, I like that... I mean, her other one doesn't have the, like, flowy part in the front and the back. But I like that it's, like, white with, like, Dawnstone. I love it. It, it looks great. Solos looks pretty freaking awesome like a warrior monk. And Talon just looks like he's gonna murder everybody with a glance of his silver eyes. And Dorian just looks freaking fantastic. I, I got a good looking crew here. Got a good looking crew. So a brother fell. Shoot, where is all the pieces? There's supposed to be four. So there was one here that we read. Yes. And there wasn't one there. There was one over here. One... Over here and one over there. Alright. But each ruled differently. They argued and heated word made the brothers duel. Right, that's always how it happens. The brothers always do that. Can never end happily for brothers. And so, so it's going to be that one, and then that one. So then, locking away his great works. And each worked together for a time, side by side. Each ruled half the tig. And then that one, and now I think, I think that's how it's going to go. All right. The Superb Antem Sar looks so cute on Dorian! <laughs> oh yeah, you knew that, which is why you don't really blame him. Nice, Ashley. He's a follower of the Cume. Dorian looks fabulous. Thank you, Ronland. Have to look stylish out on a killing spree? Obviously! <laughs> We're gonna get blood on this stuff. Like, we might as well look good while doing it. Yeah. Uh-uh. Looks so cute on Dory, and that's so funny. I just, I don't know. The crop top look is weird to me. I don't know. But I did like it better when I colored it. Uh, was it? Shoot, no, it was this one. Yes. Blah 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 blah. blah. No go. Okay. Dorian. Do that. Okay. So hopefully all I have to do is light it. Okay. And then... I think it was this one? And work together. Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> but each ruled differently. They argued. I'm excited. This looks like this totally even looks like like the final one. It's just so dramatic looking up in the up in the air. You're gonna spend the rest of the night like this making armor. <laughs> I totally wouldn't blame you! I love, and the new armor that you get, like, I'm, I'm so glad you were able to get that too, like, that's so cool. It's really, the new armor is awesome, I, I was, I'm very much in love with the DLC armor. Yeah, Frog Raider! <laughs> Was this it? Whoa, Dwarven Bandercrown, Key Fragment, 
Masterwork dual carved blade, curved blade, superb and critical damage. All these pieces of metal inside the tombs we found, they make up a key. Ingenious. Let us see what it unlocks. Ooh, Solus likes it. What does it unlock? Wow, I've almost finished a mosaic too. <laughs> Meow. 